a generational type talent like you can't miss it's different right yep. right for them 100%. you know there's there's people watching them flow and they're just that that good um they'll they'll work their way up and away they go but my opinion of for most of us um is that actually there needs to be uh some adversity yes because you actually have to figure out what's going on and we just talked about that in that previous drill right like there's adversity there like i'm getting beat all the time in that other defensemen are as well how do we figure this out mm -hmm. so to not just give it to you on a silver platter and and here you go but for kids to have a little bit bit of adversity um i i don't think is a bad thing and wow. so um it forces them to figure it out how how can i do this better what do i need to work on and those challenges you then figure out who can who can do that which they're they're going to need to do as they continue on and and if they want to play higher level of hockey they're going to have to figure out what what are their strengths what are their weaknesses what are these other players trying to do to me to be successful and what do i need to do to figure out how to stop that or how like and all that is very very important and like i saw a player like chad hints for example who he grew up in Laird, uh, was a, every, all, any parent that saw him as, as a kid would be like, that guy's going to make the NHL. Can't miss. Yeah, yeah. And he, he lit it up all through minor hockey, had a decent, uh, triple image career, played in Moose Jaw, uh, for the Warriors and went over to Europe and played like division two or three or something like that for a bit and done like no. And there were so many parents back to what you said that would say that guy is is going for sure so you have to be very careful with it and if the kid takes hold of it if the kid figures out with some adversity if if the kid is is uh disciplined work ethic you know all that kind of stuff the, th they are going to have a way better shot at it and in general than than others who are just like, well, my, my dad says First something. thing, they've eliminated, society and life has eliminated so much of the obstacles that kids used to have to overcome. We've The adversity aspect for, for boys out there is a fraction of what it used to be. And as a stupid story, I brought this up a few weeks ago. I was with Razor in a, a rink in Buffalo, and a bunch of boys walked by, and because it's Razor, I was like, you think any of those kids have ever been in a in a tussle in, a in the schoolyard yeah. like you know what i mean nothing yeah. not not that you need to be getting in fights and stuff but there's no damn way they have and just so the adversity any of the challenges a lot of that stuff's been wiped off the table so for kids to have that little boys to have to overcome that i think the studies just show over and over how important it is mm -hmm. for them to have to do that secondly and small town sask or small town guys I think that we believe have this belief anyway, but the importance for a child to want to do it and to yes. prove to you that he truly wants to dropping him off at a trainer is not him wanting to do no. it. Him biking to <laughs> down the hill and doing 10 hill yeah. sprints on his own. Yeah. That's him wanting to do I, it. that I, him, him going outside and shooting a hundred pucks without you telling him to mm -hmm. that's him wanting to do it yeah providing them you, you support them and you provide you take care of them but there's a difference between giving them something and them actually wanting it my kids would go work out with a trainer if i drop them off at the trainer and say this mm -hmm. is what you're supposed to do go and do it on their own is when you know they want it yeah and it's if they want because sometimes even as a parent though you have to give them that push that yeah. there needs to be some motivation because i know with with one of my like if you just let him he'll just but if you no listen you you have to go and then once he gets his motor running he'll go so it's it's hard i'm not saying that yeah. you you throw them out there and never give them guidance mm -hmm. i'm saying that you can't dictate all the things that they're doing here you've been to a trainer now he's given you a program are you doing it yeah you can and you can question them yeah. and you're right mm -hmm. i'm not saying it's it's the same if you're if, if part of their role in your household is to put the dishes away and they don't do it well you have to hey put the dishes away but yes. they have to want it because i think what's happened is there's a bunch of guys that have actually could have made it or even if they have made it you can see it now the guys that really want it 
they perform when shit hits the fan mm-hmm. or when it's needed, right? Yeah. And we've taken so much of that away from kids, they've never learned how to do it. 